So we are here at El Camino College at the Warrior Pantry and uh, today they received their uh, freezer. So just want to do a quick little shot of that and to thank everybody who has donated to LumenSpark to make this, this uh, gift to the Warrior Pantry possible. All right, so I'm gonna head over there in just a second. We got that so this was, we wanted- Oh, so cool. Look at that. Yeah, oh, look, there's magnets There you go. Oh, freaking. <laughs> that is awesome. Wow. That's cool. We're keeping us going. That is totally awesome. Wow. <laughs> right now it's empty. <laughs> So Kim, you know, like you just got done saying, people say a freezer and go, oh, a freezer, what's that? <laughs> Tell me what the significance is for the organization. Well, the Warrior Pantry, as you already know, has gone to a drive-through distribution and it's created its own challenges just by doing that um, and having to follow protocol and having to make sure that you're following the health department guidelines and keeping everything as cold at a certain temperature for a certain amount of time. Yep. Those are things you have to absolutely follow. You want to don't want to be giving out food that might possibly be um, spoiled or compromised in any way because because we didn't do our due diligence That's right. by keeping them the way that we should. Well, we've been kind of limited. I mean, right now we're borrowing a freezer in a above the bookstore where usually <laughs> we have um, caterers in that area. Well, yes. they're not on campus right now, so we've been borrowing that. And yeah. not always somebody there to let us in. And right. there's other challenges with that. And so having this means that we can, this is our area, and this is a portable freezer. Look at, watch this. Woo! It's our, <laughs> this oh, is exciting. Can, yeah. We can wheel this right out the door to oh, the drive yeah. If we have yeah, yeah. cold items, like lately I've been purchasing salmon fillets and individually wrapped chicken wow. breasts, things like that. Um, and even maybe something fun like ice cream. Yeah, at the very right. end of the summer, maybe when they're all done with their classes. I guess she's done it. <laughs> <laughs> maybe we'll talk to Baskin Robbins. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. Get them to donate ice cream yeah. or something. But it really makes a huge, huge difference yeah. in our students being able to not just have non-perishable items out of a can. Right. Um, it creates a lot of opportunity for our students, and that's to me that's exciting. Yep. You know? Yep. It hopefully will help them to be able to not, like we said, not have to worry about the basic needs. Um, and great. so we're going to try to help them with that and ease things up, and, and maybe ha even have a little bit of fun with it too. Awesome. You're keeping us cool. Awesome. <laughs> All right, well, we just wanted to say uh, just a big shout out to all of the donors, all of you guys for what you contributed to be able to make uh, uh, all of this happen. And so uh, you saw Kim's smiling face and, uh, you know, smiles on our faces too because we're really uh, just so excited to be able to make this happen. Thank you so much from the bottom of our hearts. Uh, your gift is going to continue to be given and to really impact the life of every student that goes through the pantry every week and their families. Thank you so much for that. Awesome.